webinar on trends in global labor management. Uh, today's objectives are to share with you what is driving labeling complexity in terms of internal pressures such as global expansion and evolving global health authority expectations. We will also share what the future looks like with regards to seamless integration of the end-to-end -end labeling process from signal to package coupled with external services and technology enablers. And finally, we would like to share how to assess the overall performance and quality of the labeling process. Um, I'd like to make this as relevant for you as possible. And to that end, here's an audience poll. Um, over to Yasmin to run that. Thanks. Thank you, Bindu. We do have a poll question. And uh, you can vote on this in real time by clicking on your screen. The polling question for today is, how many of you work in regulatory affairs, safety, quality, IT, or other? And you can check all that apply. The question again is, how many of you work in regulatory affairs, safety, quality, IT, or other? It looks like most of you have voted. So I'm going to close the poll and share the results with you. And there we have it. So we have 60% for regulatory affairs, 9% for safety, 17% for quality, 2% in IT, and 47% voted other. And uh, Bindu, back to you. Thanks, Yasmin. That was an interesting revolution. Um, so I, I would certainly be interested in what the other 47% are. But I'm, I'm glad to hear that 60% are in regular affairs and hopefully labeling is one of your key functions. Um, so right now my task is to outline for you some of the challenges faced by global labeling teams. I hope these do resonate with you and uh, I would love to hear if you agree or have other challenges to speak to. Um, drug product labeling is continuing to grow both in complexity and strategic importance. It is a key mechanism for communication of the benefit risk to healthcare professionals and patients. Um, that companies not only have to ensure a harmony of messaging from the core data sheets to local prescribing information, but they also have to track and document the implementation of labeling changes and any local variants. This calls for operational leadership. You need to drive accuracy, precision, and efficient execution. Uh, what is also critical is knowledge and application of worldwide regulations. We have found it very useful to maintain a knowledge repository, which is constantly updated by our experts. Um, and uh, they, they constantly surf regulatory sites and have alerts to note when something changes. Uh, it's also important to have hands and feet on the ground to be able to contribute to the submission strategy and to, to negotiate those all important health authority labeling interactions to ensure that the company's position is not um, varied from by a great deal. Um, so what is driving complexity and workloads in labeling? Uh, there are several factors. I list the three biggies here, geographic expansion, portfolio growth, and increasing health authority focus. So entering into newer markets has become an imperative to fuel growth and consumption. And with that, labeling teams need to deal with different local regulations. Even more importantly, they need to deal with different regulatory agencies who are evolving in maturity. Their processes may not be well defined. Often they will pose unusual demands. For example, despite a global directive that local labels be derived from the core data sheet, some countries will insist on using the USPI as a base. Other regulators will allow you to update labels only so many times so that local country offices will wait and update their labels only after several CDS updates. 
this is quite frustrating for the global teams, but these are some of the issues we have to deal with. Um, portfolio growth is another compounding factor. Some of our clients seem to be in an inorganic growth mode all the time. That couples with new molecules and products can increase workloads for the labeling teams manifold. I'm sure that most of you would have experienced projects where legacy formats need conversion into the current company format. And as if that's not enough, regulations change. The EU wanted to implement QRD templates. USFDA now wants us to have labels conform to the PLR. Interesting times and in work. And one of our recent projects actually implements the conversion of old labels to the PLR format. The new regulations are only proof that there is increased focus by the health agencies on labeling. This is a key indicator for patient safety. In fact, we find that there are a significant number of findings during inspections relate to the product label. There seems to be increasing pressure by health authorities to demonstrate overall performance, quality, and compliance of the end-to-end -end labeling process.